One of the last unexplored worlds in our solar system is about to give up some of its secrets. After a mission lasting more than seven years, a NASA spacecraft the size of a tractor trailer is now in orbit around Ceres. It's a dwarf planet slightly bigger than Alberta, first identified two centuries ago. Joining us is our science correspondent, Bob McDonald. He's in Victoria. So, Bob, what is a dwarf planet? Well, Wendy, a uh, dwarf planet is sort of a new class of object that's going around our solar system. It's uh, an object that's uh, not big enough to be a planet, too small to be an asteroid or a comet, and uh, we've never seen them before. So that's why this Dawn mission is so exciting. We're going to see the first one close up, and then later next July, we're going to see the second one, which is the planet Pluto. And why does NASA want to visit this one? What do they hope to find here? Well, this one is uh, interesting because it's close to us. It's only out just beyond the orbit of Mars, and it's um, an ice world. Uh, we've never seen dwarf planets. They're made partly of rock, partly of ice, and there's some indication that it might even have an ocean underneath it. Uh, it's got a mysterious white spot on its surface. It might have ice volcanoes on it spewing vapor out into space. We don't really know. We've never been there before, which is kind of exciting about this one. This is pure exploration, going someplace we've never seen before just to see what it's like. You're obviously excited. You're a space geek, but why should the rest of us be excited by this? Well, you know, it's really important that we get to know our neighborhood. Uh, the Earth is only one planet of uh, a whole bunch of planets out there, and if we really want to understand this one, it's a good idea to look at everything else that's around us. And just the fact that we don't know, that makes it worth knowing. Thanks so much, Bob. Okay, Wendy. Bob McDonald joining us tonight from Victoria.